Hey there, sleep enthusiasts. Welcome back to our 30-day sleep better challenge. I'm Dr. Lisa Rosenberger, your guide on this journey to transform your nights and wake up feeling refreshed. If you're just joining us, don't worry. You're right on time to embark on a path to better sleep. Let's take a moment to celebrate the progress that we've made so far in week one, laying the foundation for better sleep. We've understood the importance of a consistent sleep schedule, created a sleep-friendly environment, and established some healthy sleep habits. If you've been implementing these strategies, give yourself a big pat on the back. We're building a strong foundation for the rest of our challenge here. So now as we transition into week two, we're taking it up a notch. We're diving into the realm of natural sleep helpers, which is going to help us power up for deep sleep. The journey to better sleep doesn't stop with a solid foundation. It's time for us to explore how natural remedies can enhance sleep quality and usher us into the realm of deeper, more restorative slumber. So you may be asking, why natural sleep helpers? Well, they offer a holistic approach to sleep improvement without the potential side effects of medications. We're tapping into the power of nature to achieve profound results. So buckle up, sleep seekers, as we dive in to the world of natural sleep remedies. Let's power up for some seriously deep sleep. Are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Today we're exploring a variety of tools that can help not only your body, but also your mind and spirit. Find that deep rejuvenating sleep you so deserve. First up is our herbal allies, which comes in various forms. This is probably one of my favorite because it's what got me into medicine. Truly. And so we're going to look at teas, tinctures, and essential oils. But first up, let's talk about the power of herbal teas. Chamomile, valerian, lavender are all some examples of some great herbs that have been around for centuries that you can use to benefit from and get some of those calming properties. Just take, consider taking a sip of hot tea at night before bed to help soothe your senses and get you ready for that deeper sleep. For those of you who perform more concentrated form, tinctures are a fantastic option. Valerian tinctures, passiflora, lavender have all been around and can be natural in helping you guide you into a more peaceful slum slumber. And lastly is those essential oils, which are definitely a game changer. Lavender oil particularly is renowned for its sleep um, supportive properties. So consider adding essential oil into your bedroom by diffusing it, adding a couple drops to a carrier oil and applying it topically, or spraying or misting across your, your bedding to help you with that sleep. Now, heading into various relaxation techniques, we've got some deep breathing exercises that can be helpful, and you can practice deep breathing to calm the mind and signal your body so it's time to unwind. Inhale deeply for a uh, count of four or five, hold for a count of four or five, and then exhale for eight, and that's going to help your mind to unwind. Then there's mindful meditation. Engage in mindfulness helps you focus on the present moment, ease stress and anxiety that may also be contributing to why you're awake. You could also look into progressive muscle relaxation. Tension often lingers in our muscles and can actually be a factor to why we have trouble sleeping because we're all tense. So by focusing on that tension and gradually releasing different muscle groups, we're promoting a physical relaxation, which can help us get into that deeper sleep. Sleep enhancing rituals is another area that we can look into, helping set ourselves up for success by reading a book, helping to unwind, a calming book preferably, and it can transport us and let us relax and let go of the day's stressors. You could also set yourself up with a warm bath, right? Right before bedtime. It's not just about the physical relaxation, but the change in your body temperature can also signal your brain that it's time to unwind. And fourth, we can look at doing dietary tweaks for better sleep. The number one is avoiding the caffeine and heavy meals before bed. Limiting your caffeine intake in the afternoon and the evening is going to help your body unwind when it comes to sleep time or bedtime. You can also look into maybe some sleep inducing foods to incorporate that will help with producing or supporting more sleep like cherries, bananas, turkey, and almonds. They all contain natural compounds that can help support relaxation and sleep. And I want you to remember everyone's journey is unique. Experiment with these natural helpers, natural sleep helpers, find what resonates with you and mix and match to create a personalized sleep enhancing routine that's going to suit your preferences. And I wish you all some sweet dreams, of course.
Now, before we wrap up our exploration of natural sleep helpers, I want to share with you a couple common challenges people have experienced when working to improve their sleep, as well as some frequently asked questions. So let's get started with those challenges. Challenge number one, I struggle with consistency. Well, you are not alone. Consistency is key, but we understand life can get busy, so we want to set realistic goals and gradually incorporate these remedies into your routine. Small steps can lead to big changes. Common challenge number two is I'm unsure about the right dosage for herbal remedies. And so it's always advisable to start with the recommended dosage on the product label. And if you're uncertain, definitely consult with your healthcare provider for a personalized advice because they'll take into account everything else that's going on with you. Common challenge number three, are these remedies safe for everyone? Well, while natural remedies are generally safe, it's essential to consider everyone's individual differences. Pregnant individuals or those with specific health conditions should consult with a provi their healthcare provider before starting herbal supplements. Now on to those frequently asked questions that we get. So frequently asked question number one, do these remedies work for everyone? Well, natural remedies vary in effectiveness from person to person, depending on where they're at, but also body types and size also can matter. So we need to figure out what's best for you, and sometimes you may have to experiment or work with a provider. Frequently asked question number two is, can I use multiple remedies simultaneously? And yes, Many individuals combine different natural sleep aids to enhance their overall effectiveness. However, start with one at a time so you can understand how each affects you and make sure it's tailored to you and what's going to work best for you. Remember, your journey is unique and these tips are here to help inspire and guide you. If you have any questions or want to share your success, drop them in the comments below. We're here to support each other on this incredible sleep journey. And there you have it, Sleep Seekers. Week two of our 30-day Sleep Better Challenge completed and working through it. We want to explore these lovely world of herbal allies, relaxation techniques, sleep rituals, and dietary changes to help support you in your sleep journey. So what I want you to take away from today is that you do have, number one, these natural sleep remedies that can help you from herbal teas and tinctures to essential oils. We've uncovered a variety of tools to help nurture your mind, body, and spirit for a restful night's sleep. Two is looking at those relaxation techniques. Deep breathing, mindfulness, meditation, progressive muscle relaxation can all be your allies in unwinding before bed. Three, sleep enhancing rituals. Whether it's reading a book or indulging in a warm bath, establishing pre-sleep rituals can definitely signal your body to help unwind. And if you need more support in coming up with your nighttime routine, check out the guide that's in the description below. Lastly, four is our dietary tweaks. Remember to not eat too late, avoid caffeine, and make sure that you do have foods that are supporting your sleep. Your next steps, now it's your turn. You need to experiment with the different natural remedies and find what works best for you. Share your experiences successes, and any challenges you're facing in the comments below. Our community is here to support each other on this sleep improvement journey. And stay tuned for next week, week three, where we're going to delve deeper into breaking bad sleep habits. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to join our sleep community and receive weekly tips for a better night's sleep. Remember, your journey to better sleep is unique and every small step counts. Let's keep the conversation going and continue on this path to sweet dreams and rejuvenating nights. Thank you for joining me on week number two of our 30 Day Sleep Better Challenge. Until next time, sleep well and dream big.